This is Tank's Vlog for December 30th, 2018, wrapping up today in sports. We're brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast you can hear on iCloud and SoundTune. Did I do that again? Did I get them confused again? It's iTunes and SoundCloud. Though if they, though if they uh, merge, I think iCloud and SoundTunes would be great company names. Which company name do you think is better? But seriously, go to iCloud and... Go to iTunes and SoundCloud. Listen to Allow Me To Be Frank. Listen to many of our great episodes from the past. And we got great shows coming up this new year, 2019. As 2018 dwindles down to the last few days. Well, what we knew what we thought was going to happen at the beginning of the season has happened. Alabama versus Clemson for the national championship. Both teams undefeated. Both teams juggernauts. We'll see on January 9th who is the better of the teams. Now, first let's get to the Cotton Bowl where Clemson just took apart Notre Dame. Once Julian Love left the game, it was Trevor Lawrence just... Absolutely riddling the uh, hapless Dolphin, the uh, hapless uh, Notre Dame secondary. Just it was over. Clemson's clearly better than Notre Dame. That was shown today. And now everyone, all these anti Notre Dame people are out there. Oh, you see, Notre Dame sucks. Look, it didn't belong here. Let's bring Georgia so they could choke again. We want to see Georgia choke again. That's all we want to see. We want to see Georgia up 30 this time and choke. Georgia had their chance. They blew it. Get Georgia. Don't even talk to me about Georgia. Georgia blew it. They had their chance. They had their chance. Georgia, don't even... Think about talking about Georgia. Central Florida. You think Central Florida would have done better against Clemson? What are you snorting, man? I mean, come on. They're, they're not a Power 5 team. Notre Dame is a Power 5 team. Yes, sir. They play a Power 5 schedule. They deserve to get there. Now, I'm not saying Central Florida doesn't deserve it. There should be an 18 playoff. This four-team stuff is BS. It's bullshit. You go to an 18 playoff. Personally, I want to see a 16-team playoff. Get rid of the damn bowls. Do we need to see the Nova Loans Arizona Bowl? The Belk Bowl? The Belk Bowl. What is Belk? Belk. Some friggin'... Store in Charlotte, North Carolina. That 90% of the country doesn't even know about. Belk. Where is there a Belk? Is there a Belk? I've never even seen a Belk. The only time I've ever heard of Belk is during the Belk Bowl. And the Belk Bowl is the Blair Bowl is, of course, Virginia, jeez, just absolutely wallop South Carolina. Uh, the, yeah, the the, uh, the Gamecocks. South Carolina is a team. There's a team every time it sees a big game goes. <laughs> they crumble. Then you got the Nova Homes, Home Loans Arizona Bowl. Nevada against Ar- Arkansas State. Oh, yeah, that's a thriller. Can't miss that one. Of course. They had a peach bowl today, and anytime the word bowl or big game is there, Jim Harbaugh's team goes. I mean, what did Jim Harbaugh? How much longer are they going to tolerate him in Ann Arbor? He can't beat Ohio State. He can't win a bowl game. He didn't beat Notre Dame. Every time a big game comes up for these Michigan, it's fail, fail. To the victors, they have failed to win another game. Fail, fail, Michigander, legacy is gone. Fail to Michigan under Harbaugh, they can't win any game that is big at all. 41-15 to Florida. 
the Gators weren't even that good this year. And they lost 41-15 to to Florida. So don't even talk to me about Notre Dame not deserving to be there. There should be an 18 playoff. You take the five power conference champions, automatic bids. You take the best of the other conferences, the best of the other conferences. I, I mean, sure, sure you, you would like to have all 10 conferences invited. That would only be possible with a 16-team playoff. But Mountain West, eh, Fresno State, eh, they weren't that great this year. A MAC team? I mean, Northern Illinois got destroyed in their bowl game by UAB, the Conference USA champ. The Sun Belt? The Sun Belt? You really think the Sun Belt should even be even considered to be part of this? So you take the best of the Power Five, the, non, the con- Conference of Five, whatever they call it, and that clearly is Central Florida. So, yes, they would deserve to be an 18 playoff. Then you take two at-large teams. Notre Dame, ranked three, would be in that at-large inning you put in. Maybe even the choking Georgia Bulldogs. But don't talk to me about Notre Dame not deserving to be there. Clemson would have destroyed Georgia, or, or Georgia would have choked. And I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. I don't know if it's getting destroyed getting worse or having a 14-point lead and blowing it again and again and again like Georgia has. So you have that situation. Ohio State. Ohio State. Okay, Ohio State won the Big Ten Championship. I mean, it was a... Toss of a coin between them and Oklahoma, and Oklahoma, I mean, you talk about not answering the bell. Let's see what Oklahoma did today in the Orange Bowl. Now, of course, the game looks close, as the final score was only 45-34, to but Alabama was up 28 nothing, and they pulled it. It was like, okay, let's go into cruise control. All right, let's go. We're getting ready to Santa Clara. All right, yeah, we don't need to do much the rest of the way. Yeah, let's, let's just go into cruise mode. Alabama took the foot off the gas. If Alabama played like it did the first 20 minutes of the entire game, that game would have been 100 to nothing. 100 to nothing. So, 45-34 might look close, but it wasn't close. That game was a blowout. And any time Oklahoma started to sneak a little bit in, Bama threw another touchdown. So, don't talk to me that Notre Dame didn't deserve to be there. Notre Dame deserved to be there. They just got their ass kicked. And anyone else would have got their ass kicked, too. Clemson kicked everyone's ass. Alabama kicked everyone's ass. What? What? They had each, had, each of them had one close game. One close game. One close game out of 14 for these both these teams. One game where they had a sweat out victory. One. Each team. So just because Notre Dame got lost 30 to 3, don't tell me they don't deserve to be there. This could have happened to Ohio State, Georgia, Central Florida, Central any one of them could have lost 30 to 3. That's how good Clemson is. Let's not tear down Notre Dame. Let's talk about how good Clemson is. Trevor Lawrence, jeez. I now know what I want to see the Miami Dolphins do. Not only do I want to see the Dolphins suck next year, I want to see them suck even more in 2020 because I want Trevor Lawrence in a Dolphin uniform. This guy, that arm of his, true freshman? Are you kidding me? Clemson and Alabama, they're going to meet again next year too. I mean, they're just the talent they have amassed. Dabo Sweeney. You know, huh? Dabble Sweeney in the NFL. Wouldn't look too bad in Miami, you know. Wouldn't mind seeing Dabble Sweeney end up as a Dolphins head coach. Jim Harbaugh, talk about Jim Harbaugh. 
No. 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 Let him go to the Jets. Let Jim Harbaugh go to the Jets. We don't want him in Miami. No. Stay away. Stay away. But it's, it's clear. Alabama and Clemson are just here right now. It's a higher level. Everyone else has to catch up to them. They're recruiting better. I mean, the, the academ- I mean, Notre Dame's got those, those. See, what keeps Notre Dame back is academic standards. You see, Notre Dame actually is a college where you actually have to learn and take actual real courses. Unlike the SEC, where the uh, the entrance exam is spell cat and they get, give you the C and the T. Notre Dame deserved to be there. I don't care what the final score is. They went 12 and 0. They won every game. They had a great season. Get in a conference. Get in a conference. Notre Dame has thrived for years without a conference. If the NCAA makes a rule that everyone has to be in a conference, then everyone should be in a conference. Not just Notre Dame. Let's make the rule for BYU. Let's make the rule for Army. Army, let's put them in the conference USA. But as long as Notre Dame's allowed to be an independent, you can't take away their right to play for the national championship. They earned it. They went 12 and 0. They beat Michigan. They beat USC. I don't care. USC had a bad year. USC is 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 a perennial top 25 team. Stanford. Okay, St- Stanford. They beat Stanford. Stanford's a bowl team. They played Pitt who went to their conference championship game. Florida say that down here, so Florida has say that down here. They have a bad coach. Notre Dame deserved to be there. They just got their ass kicked. And they got their ass kicked because Clemson is a superior team. Notre Dame had to play a perfect game to win. And when Julian Love went down, it was lights out. Clemson's defense is superior. And now it's going to be interesting. Can Clemson's defense contain Tula T- Tunga Viola? Because if they can, I think Clemson can win that national championship game. That's going to be a terrific game. Can't miss. And if Comcast, if you dare take away my ESPN, don't let me find out it's easy to, to stream channels. Because I will cut your cord so fast that your friggin' head will be spinning. You better get this thing settled. You better make sure that Fios has... All my channels, that I don't lose a channel, Fios. I am this talking to you, Fios. If I find out it's easy to cut the, to to get these channels, my SNY, all my sports channels. Don't let me, don't let me find it's easy. Don't let me find it's easy and cheaper. Don't let me find that out. Don't let me find that out. So Alabama, I mean, Tua Tua Tunga Viola, I think he is a better quarterback than Kyler Murray. I mean, Tua Tunga Viola is going to be the Heisman favorite next year, going into his junior season. Trevor Lawrence is going to be up for the Heisman next year too. And now we get to see who just wins on uh, January 9th. I mean. We had two, the fact that we had these two great games and three other bowl games. And then we have bowl games on Monday, bowl games on Tuesday. Do you really care about the Hyundai Sun Bowl, the Red Box Bowl, the Liberty Bowl? I mean, you still got the traditional bowls, the, the Sugar Bowl, the Rose Bowl. But let's have a playoff. Please, NCAA. You talk about sponsors. You'd get killer ratings. You'd get killer betting. Can you imagine if they had a 16-team tournament, bracket-style tournament? You think people would bet on the NCAA basketball tournament? You think people would go crazy for that? You have a... 
the December, January madness for the NCAA, you couldn't tear people away from the TV. The NFL would be begging them to play on Fridays because they would be scared that the people would watch that instead of the playoffs. <sighs> well, NFL season ends Sunday, so we'll see what happens with that, by the way. So there'll be that big wrap up tomorrow. Moving on to hockey. Mackenzie Blackwood. I love Mackenzie Blackwood. I mean, two games, two wins, new energy. I think the Devils have a goalie. I mean, Jesus, this guy impressive. I mean, 37 saves today. Devils were lackluster most of the game. They But they got those two goals. Andy Green scored. Pavel Zaka scored. But Mackenzie Blackwood absolutely stood on his head and got a shutout win. The first time the Devils have won two in a row in over a month. I mean, Keith Kincaid's an okay goalie. Corey Schneider's broken down. But I want... I want to see more Mackenzie Blackwood. I think the 22-year-old kid, he's 22. I think he's ready for uh, prime time. Let's see Mackenzie Blackwood. Let's see him in there every day. I mean, the, the, the devil. I mean, the devil's defense has been atrocious. I mean, but I'm liking when I, 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 I mean, two games in, I, I know it's, it's not a career it makes, but damn, I'm impressed. Rangers stunned the Predators in Nashville today, 4-3. It was the Wild 3-1 over the Jets. The Sharks took a bite out of the order, 7-4. It was Vegas Golden Knights stopping the Kings winning streak with a 4-1 win. The uh, Bruins beat the Sabres in overtime, 3-2. The Islanders got a hat-trick from Mark Matthew Barzell. As they beat up their former teammate, John Tavares, 4 to nothing, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. It was the Capitals' 3-2 winners over the Senators. The Lightning edged the Canadian, 6-5. It was the Panthers over the Flyers, 2-1. The Penguins routed the Blues on a four-point night by Sidney Crosby, 6-1. The Stars beat the Red Wings, 5-1. Patrick Kane had two goals, including an overtime game winner as the Blackhawks beat the uh, Avalanche. It was the Canucks 3-2 winners in overtime. And it was the Arizona Coyotes beating the Anaheim Ducks 5-4 in overtime. Going on to the NBA. <sighs> Well, the Nets were playing good, but looks like they've hit a little bit of a wall. Losing yesterday in Charlotte, now again today against the Bucks, 129-115. Too much Giannis Antetokounmpo, who had a triple-double with 31 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. Although Shabazz Napier did have a solid game with 32 points, 7 assists himself. The Knicks are finally getting it. Tank, tank it up. Oh, tank it up as the Knicks. Zion, 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 Zion. Say it, Knicks. Chant it every day before you go out there and get your ass kicked. Zion, Zion, Zion. As they got from pottled by the Utah Jazz, 129-97. It was the Wizards. After learning John Wall is lost for the season, beating the Hornets 130-126. to The Rockets finally are starting to really get uh, hit their stride now. They got 41 points from James Harden, 9 rebounds to beat the Pelicans 108-104. I guess the stench that Carmelo Anthony left has finally left the locker. It was the Hawks 111-108 winners over the Cleveland Cadabras. The Celtics got a double-double 
as they rallied from Kyrie Irving as they rallied to beat the Memphis Grizzlies 112 to 103. The Denver Nuggets edged the Phoenix Suns 122-144, 122-118 as Jamal Murray dropped 46 points on their heads. DeAndre Ayton is really starting to find this NBA to his liking, though, as he had 33 points, 14 rebounds for the Suns. It was the Warriors stopping their skid, beating the Portland Trailblazers 115-105. Big day by Klay Thompson, who had 32 points to lead the way. And it was the San Antonio Spurs 122-111 over the Clippers, as LaMarcus Aldridge had 38 points, 7 rebounds for San Antonio. Today's three stars are Tua Tunga Viola, who had 318 yards passing, four touchdowns, and impressively only had three incomplete passes, completing 24 of 27. Trevor Lawrence had 327 yards with three touchdowns for Clemson in their win over Notre Dame. And my man, Mackenzie Blackwood, Devils, new starting goalie. Please, I mean, geez, let's hope this let's hope this stays. I mean, I'm not saying he's going to be Marty, but kind of look like Marty tonight. With his 37 save shutout as the Devils got two straight wins. You know, there's some dates on the calendar when the stars align. And there's been many great birthdays on the same day. I don't think there's any date on the calendar where there's bigger birthdays than December 30th. You want to talk about big stars? And I'm not talking about Aldrich Rosas or Carson Wentz or even A.J. Pruszynski. Whose birthday are also today? Rosas is 24, Wentz 26, Brzezinski 42. I'm talking about the best left-handed pitcher of all time, Sandy Koufax, who turns 83. I'm talking about the big head in L.A., LeBron James. I, I mean, it's it's like... What's he, what's he doing, his impersonation of Arthur? What do you... I mean, if he was in New York, they, they would be playing uh, caught between the Arthur's team. Uh, except it would be LeBron's team. Their theme, walking in there with a glass of wine. Governor, I'm not playing today, so I'm just going to go get drunk. <laughs> well, LeBron James, happy birthday, you're 34. And the golfer... This year, challenged a couple times for the lead in majors and finally won another tournament. He's not what he was, but he's not a non factor. And I mean, that man is Tiger Woods. Today is Tiger Woods' 43rd birthday. So, what a, what a, what a collection of birthdays on December 30th. And I take a look back to 1973, when the Miami Dolphins became the first team to play in three Super Bowls, as they beat the Oakland Raiders 27 to 10 in the AFC Championship game. Of course, this game was an, was revenge for the Dolphins' loss in Week Two, which ended their 18-game winning streak, and it was. Larry Zonka leading away as the Dolphins just rolled over and the Raiders on the ground. In the game, Bob Greasy only had 34 yards through the air. In fact, Bob Greasy ran for 39 yards as the Dolphins as a team ran for over 200 yards to roll on their way to 27-10 victory. So check out the full story of Barstool Sports and its sports encyclopedia where sports history lives. Good day and... Notre Dame will be back. They will win another national championship. Wake up the echoes.